Hello, and welcome to the Clan Mackay Society Historian's YouTube channel. My name is Hunter Mackay, and today I'd like to show you how to go from individual threads like these to a woven piece of tartan like this. So let's talk about tartans, right? And especially let's talk about the Clan Mackay's tartan. So the Clan Mackay tartan is known as the Clan Mackay Ancient, or the Mackay Modern, or the Weathered. Uh, there's also the Strathnaver, the Dutch, the Blue. There's many tartans, but today we're going to talk about the Green Mackay tartan, as it's known in the Scottish Register of Tartans. So the Scottish Register of Tartans is the Scottish government's official log of tartans that exist around the world. And when it comes to the Clan Mackay tartan, it says, the set is known as the Green Mackay and is similar to the Gun Tartan. A sample was signed and sealed by the Chief of the Highland Society of London in 1860. So this right here is the closest thing that we can have to the 1816 set that was recorded in the register. So it described the blue as a core bow, which is a very, very, very dark color, and it says that it's, it's almost green in, in, in what it looks like. So this is what was recorded in the 1816 uh, register. Uh, most generally worn today is the ancient version which mimics the Ray regiments or the Mackay regiments that served in the Napoleonic Wars. And then you'll also see this uh, weathered style, which is also a very, very popular uh, style of the tartan. So they're all the same tartan, technically, or I should say they're all the same set. And what I mean by that is a set is a tartan's identity. Right? Each tartan has a set. The Campbell Ancient, the Gun Tartan, the McDonald Tartan. Every tartan has a set. And a set is a specified amount of threads that creates this identity of the tartan. Right? For the Clan Mackay, this tartan set is, uh, is broken up at, as the following. Right? I'll, I'll show you a picture. It goes six black. 28 green, 28 black, 4 green, 28 blue, 6 green, 28 blue, 4 green, 28 black, 28 green, and then 6 black. And that is repeated over and over and over until you have as much fabric as you need. The history of these tartans, right? This tartan right here, the modern, is, uh, is what was recorded in 1816. But we use this, right, as a, uh, it hails back to the time of 1794, when the Mackay Highlander Regiment was formed in 1794 to 1802 during the Napoleonic Wars. And as described by Captain Ian Mackay Scobie in his book, An Old Highland Fencible Corps, he talks about this, this Clan Mackay Regiment, and he says that they had the Brekanele, or the, the kilt, right, of the Mackay Tartan of the same set, but of a lighter shade than that is now worn, right? So he was he meant that this is the darker shade, right? The, the actual official shade. And this is the old shade that it would have looked like in the 1700s with the regiments, right? So that's the difference. So they're both, they're all the same tartans with the same thread counts, but they are unique in, in the different shades because they're trying to replicate a time of the past, right? The ancient is trying to replicate, you know, the 1700s um, using vegetable dyes. The weather tries to show uh, kind of this wear over time, and the modern is just basically straight from the straight from the weavers um, using good industrial dyes, and um, and that's generally the the separation between them. Now, there are some websites where you can buy. Mackay tartans, right, such as this, uh, that are actually technically not Mackay tartans, right? This one specifically is missing the second blue stripe down the middle, right? It only has one. It should have two. 
So although I don't really care much, it's fun to have a similar Makai Tartan while I'm cooking. Uh, it, is, it is advisable, just make sure you, uh, if you're really big on having exactly the Makai Tartan, that there is actually a official thread count to the Tartan. Okay, so now that we've talked about the history and where it came from and its, and its usage or, or how, how the sets are broken up, let's look at the actual weaving of the fabric, right? So that is shown right here. This is a fabric that I personally wove. Uh, I'm going to now show you how that is done. First, in order to weave a tartan, you have to put the threads onto a warping board which is what you see here. Uh, this creates what is called the quote unquote warp of the fabric. Once you've created the warp of the fabric, you need to wrap this warp around the loom. Once you've wrapped it around the loom, you take each individual thread and you have to pass it through the heels. Passing it through these heels in such a way that it creates a two by two twill, which is how you see the diagonal lines in uh, modern day tartans. As you can see here, you've got diagonal lines running throughout the tartan that if you go from one end to the other, you can technically trace a diagonal line all the way across. Once you've put each individual thread through the heels, you then have to put it through the beading bar. As you can see here, each thread has gone through the beading bar, or the reed, I think is what it's called. And once you've put it through the reed, you then tie it to the bar on the other end of the loom. Once you've tied it to the other side of the loom, you can begin the weaving process, which this shows you half woven and half unwoven as an example. Now to weave the tartan, I talk about thread counts and, uh, and how that pertains to the Makais, right? So thread count basically just means how many threads per color for the tartan. As you can see, I'm technically right now working on the green part of the tartan. Here we have a time lapse of me weaving the tartan over an hour. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on any of our future content. Also, if you have any Clan Mackay specific topics you'd like to see us cover, please leave a comment below. If you know anyone with these last names, or anyone who professes Clan Mackay loyalty, or anyone who's just generally interested in Scottish history, please share this video with them. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.